All right, so we're going to end today, today's lecture, with an introduction to biodiversity. We had said, we had talked previously today about some of the highest um, levels of biodiversity in the world being found in uh, coral reefs and tropical rainforest. Um, but biodiversity is important. It, it um, everything, like we don't have, like, what is one of the problems we have around here? We've got too many deer. <laughs> they, eat my, they eat up all my plants in my yard. Why, why do we have so many deer? We don't have wolves. We got rid of the wolves. And, and granted, I can see where here in Pittsburgh, why do I want wolves? I don't want wolves running around here. But we have Yellowstone National Park. It's the perfect place for a wolf, right? Um, they were eliminated from there for over 100 years. And someone, and the biodiversity in the park was very much so suffering for the same reason. The, uh, the herbivores, they weren't, there was nobody feeding on them. So what they did is they introduced 30, about 30 individuals. Watch the video. Um, we, they introduced about 30 individuals. And over time, over about 15 years, they've risen to about 300. And what's happened is the biodiversity has increased. Um, and so, so this is this chapter, chapter five. We talk about these different environments, and then we transition into issues of biodiversity. So, um, this is the final, final, um, final thing for you to watch for today is these videos on the reintroduction of the wolf into Yellowstone.